Hey everybody, it's Paul, and in today's video I want to talk about how you can get at least 60 books read this year. So it all comes down to making reading a habit. Think about this uh, acronym, ABC. When I was in sales, ABC stood for always be closing. With regard to reading, this is going to be like always be closing books or always be consuming. And by that, I mean constantly finding ways to get some extra reading done. So first, I want you to think of, can you fit in 40 minutes a day? For some people, they'd be like, whoa, my day is already packed. I'm super busy on a constant basis. I don't have 40 minutes. Well, what if it was 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening of reading? And chances are there's probably other opportunities to get more reading done. If you were to read, if you're an average reader, and you were reading 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening, average number of uh, words per page is 250 words. I know this varies depending on the font and the spacing, but it's about 250 words per page. And the average reader reads around 250 words per minute. And the average book is about 250 pages. And of course that varies. Some books are maybe four or 500 pages. Some books are really, really short, maybe 100, 150 pages. But let's say 250 words a minute, 250 words per page, and 250 pages per book. If you were reading 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening, and you're reading at an average rate of 250 words a minute, you will read about 60 books a year. It comes down to about a book every six days. And of course that varies because it depends on the book and things like that. But this is how we can easily get it. We've got to make it a habit. 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening. But we need some tools to accomplish this. Uh, one, I would recommend the Kindle. And it doesn't have to be the device. I have actually had the Kindle device um, ever since the first generation and a uh, number of generations afterwards, uh, the Kindle device is a great tool because you don't have to have the actual device, although I prefer it because it's more focused reading. But what do you always or usually always have with you? It's your phone. So you just get the Kindle app. That can be helpful. Also, what about Audible? Let's say in the morning you're always in a rush. You've got probably 20 minutes in the morning, whether it's during your morning routine, getting ready for work or school, or on the commute to work, you can start listening to audiobooks. By the way, there's a link down below where you can find a free trial of Audible and get some free audiobooks with that. Uh, but I highly recommend using Audible. I get a lot of extra reading done because I'm listening and I'm also reading. So finding ways to constantly be reading is the key here. And of course, and this is a shameless self-plug for our courses, learn some speed reading techniques. And this is not some hyped up version of speed reading where you're reading 50 times faster. This is learning to double or even triple your reading speed. That is in the realm of possibility if you're willing to work at it. So take a course, or if you're not sure whether or not a course is right for you, down below I have another video that you can check out and that will show you some speed reading exercises that you can start with. It's also important to measure your current reading speed. So those numbers I provided you to you before, 60 books a year, that's based on an average reading speed of 250 words per minute. What if you doubled your reading speed? Well, that's not 60 books a year anymore, is it? It's 120 books a year. So you're fully capable of reading more than 100 books this year if you can make reading a habit, if you could fine-tune and sharpen those skills, reading faster, comprehending the material better, learning how to memorize information. So if you want, you can go to our website, check all of that out. Also, while you're there, and if you made it to the end of this video, I've got a special code for you. If you use the code TUBE, as in YouTube, but just TUBE, on our website, that will give you a nice little discount in addition to whatever discounts are already there. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and be on the lookout for more videos as we go along the year. Take care.